statistics. So today we are looking at statistics that is, that is one and two. One which is in form two. And we have statistics two which is in form four. So as a candidate or as a student who's prepared for exam, what am I supposed to understand in this topic and what am I supposed to understand in this topic? So in this first topic, we divide it into two parts. You have part A, which stands for, you have to look what you call mode, you have to look at what you call uh, median, and you have to look at what you call the mean. So we have those three things that you have to cover. Part B is the graphical part, which deals with the histogram and frequency polygon. So you have to cover those two things. You have the histogram and frequency polygon. Then, in statistics two, you have to calculate one, also is divided into two parts. Part A, you have to determine mean using assumed mean. Number two, or part two of part A, you have to look for variance. And number three, you have to look for what you call standard deviation. Part B also in statistics two comprised of the graphical part. In graphical part, you have to look for one, you have to look for median. Number two, you have to look for what you call upper quartile. You have to look for what you call lower quartile. You have to look for what you call interquartile range, interquartile range. We also have semi interquartile range and we also have deciles and percentiles. So by the end of these two topics, first you have to get the mode, median, mean, the graphical part, you have histogram, frequency polygon. That is two, you have to look for mean using a single mean, variance, standard deviation, median, from the graphical part, you have to look for the median, upper quartile, lower quartile, interquartile range, semi interquartile range, decile, and percentile. So let's start with statistics one. So for us to understand that, let's come up with a question. And this question is going to give us the whole concept. So, the question appears like this. The following data was collected from from four multi test. So the data is here, marks, and then the number of students, that is the frequency. You're having the data is shown in nine six three one. Now, from this, you're supposed to calculate so the question again like this from the data, uh, determine from the data, determine one mode, two mean, three medium, and part B. Draw a histogram, a histogram, and hence, and hence, a frequency polygon, and hence a frequency polygon. So now, I have to come up with the distribution table of this work for me to get the mean and the mode, mean and median. So what are you supposed to do? So our table is like this. We have the max. We have the midpoint that is that, that is x frequency cf and fx. So we have that. Then from there you have zero to nine, ten to nineteen, twenty to twenty-nine. 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 
60 to 69, 70 to 79, and 80 to 89. So you have that table. Then you have the frequencies. The frequency you're given 2, 7, you got 10, 15, 13, 9, 6, 3, 1. So from this, you're supposed now to fill the other part of the table where x stands for midpoint. Midpoint, that means you take 0 plus 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5, 10 plus 19 divided by 2, it gives you 14.5, then 20 plus 29, it gets 24.5, that 4.5, 44.5, 54.5, 64.5, 78.5, 74.5, and then 84.5. So having that, then CF is the accumulation of the frequency. So this will be 2, 2 plus 9, so 2 plus 7, you get 9. 9 plus 10, you get 19. 19 plus uh, 15, you get 30, uh, 34. And then this plus this one, you get uh, 47. 47 plus 9, you get 50. Six, uh, 56 plus 6, you get 62. 62 plus 3, you get 65. And plus 1, you get 66. So you're having that as your data. Then free, Fx, that is the product of frequency and midpoint. So you have to take 4.5 times 2, which will give you 9. Then when you come to the others, and you have to make sure that you don't multiply the x and cf. It is only the x and f. So in this case, we are having 14.5 times 7, which is giving you 101.5. Then 24.5 times 10, that gives you 245. You have 34.5 times 15, gives you 517.5. Then you have 44.5 times 13, which gives you 578.5. You have 54.5 times 9, which gives you 490.5. You have 64.5 times 6, which gives you 387. And then you have 74.5 times 3, you get 223.5. And then the last one, 84.5 times 1, it's 84.5. So now you have that table. Then you add all the f, you get sigma f, which is 66. Then you have to add sigma fx. So you have to add all these. So to add the frequency, uh, the product of frequency and x, that is fx, the summation of all these is what you call sigma fx. So sigma that formula of sigma means the sum of. So the sum of fx are going to be, so you take 9, you add 101.5, you add 245, you add 517.5, you add 578.5, you add 490.5, you add 387, you add 223.5 and then you add 84.5. That gives you 2637. So that is the sum of fx. So now let's look at now how do we get the mode. Now mode can be asked in two ways. Either you are asked the mode of frequency and also mode of class. Now, the mode of frequency is the highest frequency. In this case, our highest frequency is 15. So that is the mode of frequency. Then the mode of class is that class with that highest frequency, that is 32, 39. So the question of asking mode of frequency is 15, mode of class is 32, 39. Then, if you look at how to get the mean, mean is equal to sigma fx over sigma f. So the formula for that is going to give us 26.37 divided by 66. So you take that 26.37 divided by uh, divided by 66, you're going to get 39.95. That is our mean. 
Now, when you come to median, the formula changes now, where you have L plus N minus CF over F into bracket CW. So, what does this stand for? L stands for what you call lower limit. N stands for a half of sigma F. A half of sigma F. Then C F stands for cumulative frequency. Then F stands for frequency. And C W stands for class width. Now, so when you're looking at the median, you have to come up with L, N, C, F, plus with an F. So, let's look at this question. Sigma F, X, sorry, Sigma F is 66. The sum of F is 66. So, a half of 66 is going to give you a half times 66, you have 33. Now, we have to understand that. The median of an even number is two values. So the median of 66 is 33 and 34. The question is how? For example, if you're looking for a median of 10, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we look at the median of that data, will say is 5. So if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I circle 5, that part will not be equal to median because on this side we have 1, 2, 3, 4. On the other side you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is not balanced. So on the right side we have 5 units, on the left side we have how many? 4 units. So to balance it, we have to look for, we have to cover those two. Now, since we have covered these two, then it's balanced by this way. We have four this side, and we have four this side. So that means the median of an even number is two values at the center. So the median of 66 is 33 and 34. So our n is equal to 34, is equal to 33 and 34. So now, after getting that and 34, how do I get L? How do I get F? How do I get F? And how do I get plus width? So since I have now that 3 and that 4 at the end, which we have here, then I'll come to where we have the CF. So if you look at CF, you go down and see where you have that 4 and that 3. That 4 and that 3 are in between 19 and that 4. Are in between 19 and 34. So I'm going to underline below 34. So those, the median you're talking about, it is in between 19 and 34 in this case. So therefore, our CF will be equal the value above the line. So this number here is our CF. And this one down here, the 15 now, this one is our F. Because from the formula, CF is above and F is below. So this 19 becomes our CF, and this number here, 15, becomes our frequency in our formula. So, so in this case, we have our CF, which is 19, and we have frequency, which is 15. Lower limit, the L, you come along the line to the far left here, this value you subtract 0 0.5, this lower value. So 30 subtract 0 0.5, you get 29.5. So our L is 29.5. So how do you get plus width? Plus width is the difference in X, the difference in X. So 14.5 minus 4.5, 24.5 minus 14.5, 4.5 minus 24.5, that gives you 10. So now we have the values. So these values now, we substitute them into the formula. So in this case, we are going to have uh, our median is equal to 
But remember, since we have got two media, uh, so two n, we have n one that is a three, and n two that is that is four. Then we have median one. So median one is going to give us twenty nine point five plus that three minus nineteen over fifteen into bracket ten. Then median two is going to give us twenty nine point five plus that four minus nineteen over fifteen into bracket ten. So let's look. Let's get the median one. So you have that three minus nineteen divided by fifteen times ten add twenty nine point five. You'll get that eight point eight. That eight point eight three. Then that four minus nineteen divided by fifteen times ten. Add 29.5, you'll get 39.5. So now the correct median is going to give us 39.5 plus 38.3, sorry, 38.83 divided by 2. So the median will give you that 8.83, you add that 9.5. Then you divide by two. So the correct median is equal to that nine point one six five. So that is our median. So that is how you get the mean, mode, and median when you have the data. The next thing to look for. Right.